This video explains the process for auto-flowing panels across multiple pages. Auto-flowing is done from the page ladder, so start by clicking the Pages Navigation button on the left. Click the Auto-flow People button to bring up the auto-flow wizard. Start by entering the page number where you would like to start the flow. The program will use as many pages as required to flow all of your selected portraits, but it will start on the page you specify here. Select the group or groups that you would like to flow using these controls. Only groups that have not been flown already will appear in this list. If you choose more than one group, they will be flown in the order displayed here, and the start of a new group will always start on a new page. Once you have made your selection, click Next to continue. If you want to, you can add a background to the pages as you flow panels to them. To do so, choose a background from this list, but remember you can always change this later. Once you have completed your background selection, click Next to continue. This is a list of the panels that are available for use with your portrait images. The number listed to the left of the panel name indicates how many portrait images that panel holds. Select the panel style that you want to use. Now we have some options. If you just want to flow the panel in full with no effects, click the Auto Flow button and the panel will be added to your pages. If you would like to add an effect to the images, select either Edge Effect or Border from the Portrait Edge Options list and click Next. Choose your edge effect or make your border selections depending on the option that you chose. At this point, we can click on the Auto Flow button to add the panel with the chosen effect to your pages, or we can use the Position Selection tool to customize which panel positions will get filled with portraits. Click on Positions to continue. Click on the positions to select or deselect them, or use the Select All button to fill all of the positions, and then deselect the ones that you don't want. Every panel placed with the Auto Flow Wizard will use this same pattern. Click Auto Flow and the panel will be added to your pages. You will have to open the pages up in order to view the panels. If you want to change the panel in any way, Double click on it and you will return to the panel wizard. The panel settings that you clicked on will already be selected. We now have the option for choosing a different panel, choosing a different effect, and using the position selecting tool. You can reflow your panel as many times as you need to in order to get it looking just the way you want it.